everyone, my name's Matthew Mott and I'm a Garmin ambassador and I've been asked you to run through Karma, my barrel, this is my bass barrel boat. Um, obviously with all the Garmin gear on it, it's pretty special. So it is a legend boat. It's a 119 Alpha. I've had it since 2012. Absolutely love it. I can't buy them anymore. That's why we've kept it and I wouldn't have anything else. So we'll start from the uh, back and we'll work up and down and we'll show you all through it. So at the back here, we have a Mercury Pro XS V8 225, 24 inch prop on it. Absolutely love it. This one I've had for about 12 months. It's got just over 200 hours on it. The motor before that was a, also a Mercury. I had the Optimax, the standard two stroke. It had done just over 1500 hours. So as you can see, this boat gets used and uh, yeah, wouldn't have it any other way. Absolutely love it. So if we walk up through the front up here, now we'll go through and we'll run you through Karma. So up front here, we have a Garmin 57 inch force trolling motor with a GT54 transducer built in. Uh, I used the 57 inch, I could have went to a 50 inch, it'll work fine, but obviously doing a lot of barrel stuff, those dams are big, bigger water. I wanted to make sure that we always keep that electric in the water and we definitely have no issues with it. This was the first ever trolling motor brought in by Garmin and uh, still going strong, never have a drama with it. So if you look up to here, now on the front here we have two sounders, we have an 8416 and an 8412, both interlinked with all the live scopes, all, all the sounders talk to each other and we'll run through that in a minute. Absolutely loving, high definition screen, what more do you want? This one here has got the foot pedal, obviously we just hardwired the foot pedal, foot pedal in, you can use a battery if you want to, but we've just done a hard wire so that way I don't have to, because I'll probably forget about it and I don't have to worry about it. But there you go, that's the uh, foot, foot pedal for the full stroller motor. Here we have the first of Fred the pole. We can move this pole up and down wherever you want, just unclick it, run it on the deck, go to my next spot wherever I want to go, click it back in. So yep, yeah, got a live scope on it, thread the pole, works great, absolutely love it. It is definitely a game changer. As we walk down here, yes, you will see we have another 8416. This is the one on the cut that I've got on the console. All rigged up, I've got all my maps in there. I've got the G3 Vision card. I've also got a topo map that I use for that as well. And yes, here's the other pole. We do have another pole, another live scope. Yes, we do have like two twin live scopes. This one I use a lot. Obviously, when I'm sitting in the console here, I'm moving around, I'm using it, and then I can jump up the front. I also can run, you can see it's got two arrows in it. When I'm doing a lot of bar fishing, I'll run both live scopes off the one pole. Works really good, have no interference, no dramas. So as my wife jumps up in the boat, I've just had a shoulder reconstruction, so I'm not allowed to get in there. So that's why we're doing it this way. So if the gal jumps up into there, and she'll show you some views from what we see. So if you turn around and you look at it here, this is at the back. So at the back here, this is very unique. We have an 8412 and an 8416. This is what I use for barra. A lot of times when I do barra, I'll have two 16s down the back, or when I'm bass fishing, I'll do it like this, and that's what we're doing at the moment. So we have those. Reason being, I can run the two live scopes on there. I can run side scan, down scan. When I'm barra fishing and I'm fishing over to the edge, I don't want to be turning around and kinking your neck all the time. So I thought, why not have these two on there? We started, we did it a few years ago. Now everyone does it and it works absolutely awesome. So you can see the view that you get with those sounders. Then up the front, once again, you can see the view that she gets if she stands up in the front when I'm looking at, obviously if I'm standing there, Fishing, this is what I get to see, an 84.12 or an 84.16, or we can move either one wherever we want. That's why we have them on the ram mounts. Sometimes I'll have both 16s up the front here when I'm bass fishing and put the 212s down the back, or I don't even have to put them on. Either or, whatever I want to do. Then we go into here. Uh, I don't know what that looks like at the moment, but obviously there. So you can see we've got our two live scopes wired up through there all ready to go there's a bit more wiring i've got to do i'm just doing some stuff as, as we speak at the moment that has shields that go over both sides but i took that all off and if she turns around to the right you can see we have it all networked through the garmin gvs 10s so we've got all that done so we can turn our sounders on off individually do whatever all our wiring being back up through the post there done so we can have a look at that so if she jumps into the driver's seat. 
So we have all our switches, all our stuff is individually switched, as you can see here through the custom panel. We've also got a fusion stereo that runs through the whole lot. Running and powering the whole thing has, we do have a green energy lithium battery as our crank battery. It is a 80 amp hour dual cycle. Then on the other side, running our electric, we have an 80 amp hour, 24 volt green energy battery that runs that, we get two or three days out of it, not an issue. And our sounders, we run it off their individual, its own individual battery, and that is also a 24 volt green energy, 80 amp hour battery, which we will get 20, 25 hours out of running this whole system. So the whole system runs off 24 volt, it's its own battery supply, it's all individually wired and has nothing to do with anything else. So um, there you go, that's Karma, that's our boat, and uh, I hope you enjoy it, and maybe we'll see you out in the water somewhere. So just remember guys, Keep it real, and I hope you enjoyed our walkthrough.